Hey YouTube friends, welcome to RK Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, as you can see, I printed off another page and almost a half of items that sold. So it's seven items that sold overnight for $152.08, which is pretty good. And when I say sales that sold overnight, it really means anything from the time I got finished packing and going to the post office yesterday until this morning. So let's say noon yesterday till this morning. That's uh, my sales. Uh, but one thing I wanted to talk about real quickly was I recently put out a video called 15 reasons you should sell on eBay and have an eBay store subscription. Um, that just recently came out and I'll put a link down below if I remember. If you haven't watched it, uh, go back and watch it. It's actually a really good video. And in that video, I talk about how to make sales happen. If you're having slow sales or no sales, how to make sales happen. And one of the things, of course, I talked about was having an eBay store and why you should have an eBay store. About a month ago, I received a question for viewer comment. And uh, the lady said that she sells on eBay just a few items, but is not looking to open an eBay store or, or make an eBay business. She just wants to sell a few items on eBay and that's fine. Hey, you know what? If you do that, that's great. Uh, but in that video, I'll explain why you should have an eBay store, even if you're selling some items uh, but in there it said the other reason she doesn't won't do that is because she doesn't do videos and she doesn't have a lot of subscriber sales well the reason I do YouTube and do videos is not because I'm looking for subscriber sales I would say subscriber sales or, or viewer sales is probably uh, maybe three percent of my sales if that much so you're talking three sales out of a hundred items um, which isn't very high. I don't do YouTube videos to create sales to, or make more sales. That's not why I do YouTube videos. The reason I do YouTube videos is because I figure I have a lot of information. I have a lot of knowledge. I've been doing this on eBay for 10 years. I've been selling and reselling practically all my life. But since I started over 20 years ago selling and reselling items, um, and I can... To be honest with you, I probably could make a lot more money if I grew my inventory really big and huge and maybe did like, uh, if you ever watch Rally Roots, Ryan and Allie Roots, um, if you ever watch them, they do a lot of uh, wholesale items or a lot of liquidation items where they go and they pick up pallets and truckload full of the same type of items to sell and resell. And you can do that if you're willing to have a, a big business and a big location and make six seven figures a year, a year i mean you know you can do that um if you're looking just to make extra income but to be able to still have time with your family or just a part-time or just want to do this on the side ebay is a great way to do it i do it i've been like i said i've been doing it for many many years and it has helped provide and do good for my family when i was working i was doing it part-time now i'm not working i'm doing it full-time so it still provides and takes care of all of our basic needs. It takes care of all of our needs. Is, you know, we're able to go on vacations and take trips, and which hopefully we're doing pretty soon. And we're able to do everything, pay our bills, do everything we need just by being able to sell on eBay. And what I sell is stuff that you can find at garage sales, estate sales, flea markets, trade shows, retail arbitrage uh, at retail stores. So that's why i do the videos it's not to create viewer sales but it's to teach and show you the kind of items that you can go find that you can sell and make money on and the kind of prices that you spend on items and turn around and flip and make a profit so that's why i do it well anyway enough rambling on uh let's go pull these items and see what's sold all right so the first item that sold is going to be over here on the game shelf and games have been probably going pretty good i've been selling them replacing them Finding some good ones. This is what sold right here. It's called the 6th edition 1000 New Word Classic Password Game. The original word association game. This sold for $12.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. So that was a good little uh, thrift shop find. Alright, so this is the next item that sold. It's a Tinkerbell tote. Or it's zippered, so I guess you'd be used as a purse or anything like that. This was a good little find. This sold for... $19.99 plus shipping. 
So, cute little bag. All right, so this next item that's sold, I've been looking at it for a little bit. I've had it listed probably for about a month, maybe. And it's sitting right there, so we're going to go ahead and grab it. This is really nice. I've been looking forward to selling this. This is called, an, well, I'm probably going to say it wrong, Anschluka Wallet. Uh, it's a lady's wallet. It's really, really nice. It's got a hand-painted cheetah leopard on the front. It's actually got painting all throughout, you know, on the wallet. It's really great. This sold for $34.99 shipped. So the next item we're going to pull is actually in the penny bin. And in, in case you didn't know, uh, I have two dogs. One is called Chrissy and one is called Penny. Chrissy is actually short, short for Christmas because that's when we got her. There's a long story behind that. And I think we had in a video, but we're not going to talk about it right now. And then the other dog is Penny. So I'm going to pull down the Penny bin and then we'll pull that item out. All right, so I went ahead and pulled this item out of that Penny bin. This is what's sold. It's a Zenith remote control. It's universal. It works with 325 different brands. So that's pretty good remote control. Well, this sold for $12.99 shipped. Now, I recently received a viewer comment, more than a question, I guess, but they said, why do I sell some things as free shipping and why do I sell some things as with a shipping price? Well, about six months ago, I did a video on free shipping versus uh, paid shipping or buyer pays, and that was actually a pretty good video. Uh, I really went in depth in that video and told a lot But sometimes when I show the picture of this item and I'll show it right here I cut off where it says free shipping and it just shows the price and I do that a lot of times really just to save room on the video So I can move around and the whole picture isn't just covering me up But as for why do I sometimes charge free shipping and or I have free shipping and sometimes I charge shipping well, for instance, like on this remote control, um, it's free shipping, but really the shipping price is in the remote control. So when I was at the thrift shop, I don't know, a month and a half, two months ago, I picked up about 10 remote controls, universal remote controls. I paid 99 cents a piece for them. So that's, I paid about $10 for them. Well, this was sold for $12.99 shipped, free shipping. And it's going to cost me, depending on where it goes in the United States, it's lightweight, it's probably about three ounces. So it's only going to cost me about $3.80, $4.20 at the max. I paid 99 cents for it. So you're talking $5, roughly $5.20 total from the cost of shipping and the cost of the purchased item. I sold it for $12.99. So you take out the fees out of that $12.99 and I'm going to pocket about four or five, six yeah, probably about five dollars and maybe some change and that's quick calculation in my head so you take that doesn't seem like very much for an item like that but you take it versus the 10 items and i've already sold most of them so you take most of those remote controls but you say after 10 of them i made five dollars a piece that's fifty dollars so to me a ten dollar investment to make fifty dollars is well worth it and like i said the shipping is actually washed into the price some items i sell that have shipping you know, I showed, showed this a minute ago, and this one I charged the price plus the shipping. That's to be a comparative rate because most of everybody was selling this at a certain price. So I rounded about and sold this same item around the same price and charged the shipping. So that's why sometimes I do free shipping and sometimes I charge shipping. And that's why sometimes when I sell items like this and I show a picture like that, it only has the price and doesn't have shipping because it was free shipping. All right, so the next item I sold in the hat bin, and it's behind all this stuff here, which I haven't even gone to. And anyway, let's cover that up. But this is the next item that sold. It's actually a very worn, worn hat. Uh, let me close this back up real quick. Oh well, I get that in a little bit. All right, see, it's it's pretty worn. It's it's pretty worn out. I mean, well well worn. Very clean, but it's very well worn. This was a Yeti hat that Kim found while we were out. Uh, I believe it was at a thrift shop. Maybe in a garage sale. Oh no, I found this hat. Anyway, this sold for $12.99 shipped. All right, let's see. This next item is maybe wrapped up. No, this next item is right here. Let's move this out of the way. I don't want this to break. This is what's the next item that sold. 
Uh, this is a pretty good little find, actually. I thought it was kind of cute. You know why I picked this up? It's a butter dish. And this is a cow butter dish. And I'll tell you the name of the maker here. It's a Duncan from 1980. And I think, well, it's wrapped up. But it does say Duncan 1980 on there. Let me see if I can pull it out of the bag real quick. So, so it's just like that. And I think, like I said, I think it says Duncan somewhere. I forget where it says it. I don't remember. Anyway. Oh, yeah. But I thought that was a totally cute little item. So this little cow butter dish from the 1980s has no chips or cracks. It's in beautiful condition. Just awesome. And I was really happy to find that. That sold for... $24.99 and it's going to the UK. So that was a good little find. All right, so the last little item, which isn't really a whole lot much, is actually sitting back here on this shelf. So let me see if I can move this stuff out of the way without it falling down. Ugh. All right, let me see if I can get this done. It's a cute little vase, love that little vase. But this is the item that's sold right here. It's a little federal milk glass cereal bowl type ice cream bowl. I guess you could say it's really, really nice. It's kind of small. Uh, look at the pattern on there. It's got a nice, pretty pattern to it. This sold for $14.99 shipped. It's going to go out real simple. I think I paid maybe 25 cents for that. All right, so those are the seven items that sold, and I'm going to go ahead and wrap them up and get them ready to, so I can take them to the post office. So it's almost midnight. I've been working late tonight. I didn't work the whole day. I took a break, but just couldn't sleep, didn't feel tired, so I decided to come out here and do a little bit of work. Um, you can see on the clock in the wall, it's almost midnight, and Kim and I went to a thrift store today, or actually we went to an antique store today, and we picked up a couple of items, and I had to show you what I found. First of all, before we get into these, I found two more Jadeite mugs, Fire King, right there, there you go, Fire King, ovenware, uh, just awesome mugs. And of course, as you know, I sold one about a week ago, $25 plus shipping. So pick these two up, that's $50, that's a $50 bill right there, those two mugs right there. And then I got these. And these were just something that's really awesome. First of all, they're little tiny like espresso type mugs. You can see they're really nice painted. But if you look at the bottom, the Georges Boyer, they're Limoges from France. Those are some really nice espresso mugs. You know what I paid for these? $3, $3 for this set. You know what I paid for the Jadeite mugs? I paid $12 for both of them. I paid up on those. Uh, the last Jadeite mug I found at the thrift shop, I paid 99 cents for. Uh, they had both of these marked at $6 a piece. Yeah, $6 a piece. So I went ahead and paid the $12 knowing that I could turn around and get tw and get uh, $25 a piece plus shipping on those. Anyway, I just thought I would show that to you and add it to this video.